ठीक है गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन विल स्टार्ट द लेक्चर First, we will discuss the last lectures program, and then we'll go to the next program in pair. Okay. So you know that how to run the program. How sorry, how to run the program? How to add the program? So we'll discuss. This is the program. Last lecture program is there. Where which program is there? This is the last program is there. You have to add four zero four and zero three is there. You have to add zero four and zero three is there. Okay, means you have to add four three times is there. You have to add four three times. So you will get answer is the twelve is there. Your answer is the twelve is there. So see what is the how this program will be run. This is or zero zero H, A zero zero H is the first. You have to store the zero zero H into the actual meter is there. Then R one is zero three is the counter for your addition purpose, and zero four is number you have to add. So here zero three is the counter. Any zero three is the number. Now four number you have to add in three times is there. Okay. So this is the logic is there. This is the R one means four number. You have to add three times. Four numbers you have to add in the three times. Is there by using this program? Is there? So see how to run this program. I am going to add this program here. Right click, add files. Save some file, repeat it as add clothes. <coughs> see. Debug, start and stop debug is there. Okay. So these are the register resources. Ah, uh, we require register R A. This is the actual meter is A here. Actual meter is there. Then we require register is R one. Here is the R one is there. We require register is R two. Here is the R two is the register is there. Here is the R two is the register is there. Okay. So see how what will be happen one by one. F L one. F eleven is there, so A is equal to zero zero.
steps, you know those steps that I'm going directly go to the steps are there. Some problem with the saving of the program that's where the problem is created Okay, we'll discuss afterwards the problem with the software is there. There is some problem with saving the software is there. That's why program will not be run.
okay so we'll discuss i will discuss this program in next lecture due to some problem with the software is there so software will not run program is right but software having some problem so he give the error is there see the error is there if i'm giving the build the program here reference made to unsolved the external is there so you're not taking the references there because the references goes to the document is there this is the reference users desktop and documents is there so require the users for the bin is there just try once time if it is run then if it is not run then we'll go to the next is there okay this time i'm going to close the projects are there new project just i'm saving this project in just try for first time c programming there cal c5 and bean is there okay i'm giving the program name it sample is there just try for if it is possible then we will stop the problem with the software is there झाला तर पाहू नाही तर मग सॉफ्टवेअर मध्ये प्रॉब्लेम आहे परत मी इन्स्टॉल करतो आणि मग तुम्हाला दाखवतो जस्ट फाईल न्यू फाईल इज देअर इफ द प्रोग्राम इज प्रोग्राम इज राईट नो प्रॉब्लेम विथ द प्रोग्राम इज देअर Same, same warning is there. There is some problem with the software is there. Maybe it possible that there is a trial version is there for a month is one month is there. So it's completed the trial trial version. That's why it gives the. Okay, so we'll discuss afterwards the program is there. Go to the program is there. Okay, so after the program, you must sing to at the time of the practical session. Okay. okay let's go to the next program is there next program is this one write a program to find out the truth complement of a given number write a program write a program to find out the truth complements of a given number is there and store the result into the ram the location is 45 means the given number we have to give this number is you have to convert into the two's complement is there this number is convert into the two's complement is there okay so how to convert this into two's complement see what is the logic behind this two's complement two's complement is what if the number is this is the first number you are given this is the 05 is the number this is the number which is given then you have to complement that number you have to complement that number complement means what you have to convert 0 to 1 1 to 0 is there complement of that number is 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 is there okay so this is the number 05 you have to complement this number this 0 becomes 1 this 0 becomes 1 this 0 becomes 1 this 0 becomes 1 then this 0 becomes 1 this 1 becomes 0 this 0 becomes 1 and this 1 becomes a 0 is there after this after this after this what is the two's complement you have to add one you have to add one 
into that numbers. You have to add this complement number and then you will get the two's complement. See that. So how to calculate the two's complement, the number which are given, you have to complement that number and then you have to add one into that number and then two's complement will be converted. Same logic we have to use here. Here is move a comma zero phi h. This is the number which is zero phi h goes to the accumulator is there. 0 5 is goes to the accumulator is there. Then you have to complement that number CPLA. This is the complement of that number is there. Complement means what? 0 5 becomes a. This is the value is F. C is there. 8 and 4 is 8 and 2 is 10. 10 means A is there. This is F. A is their value. And after that, you have to add accumulator with directly add with the hash 0 1 is there. You have to add accumulator with the hash 0 1 is there. So number A is the complement number and you have to add one into the accumulator is there. Then you will get the result is the two's complement. And this result is stored into the accumulator. And this accumulator will transfer this value into the 45H. 45H is the location where you have to move the value of two's complement present into the accumulator is there. Okay. Understand the program. So see again. What is the program? You have to choose complement of given number, which is the 0, 05. Choose complement of given number means 0, 05 is the number. You have to make the choose complement of that number. So, what is the logic is there? You have to convert first, you have to convert this number into the complement form, and then you have to add one into that number. Then you will get the result. This result is stored into the accumulator and it is transferred to the location which is the 45 H is there. The location which is the 45 H is there. So, see here is the 0, 05 complement that number. So this is the move number is transferred to the accumulator is there. Number is transferred to the accumulator is there. Then you have to complement that, that that number is CPL A is there. You have to complement that number, which is the CPL. You transfer the uh, complement that value of the accumulator is there, and then due to that complement of accumulator, you transfer this. Uh, you have to add this one into that accumulator complement accumulated. Then the value which is transferred, which value which is created, is the two's complement of given number is there. Okay, the so same num same program is there to convert the number into the complement uh, two's complement is there. Okay, next is the write a program to add first. 10 natural numbers and store the result into the R6. Same program we are discussing previously. Write a program to add first 10 natural numbers and store the result into the R6 is there. Okay. Same program. Here is the move a comma zero where you have to result store. You have to put a value 0, 0, H means you have to initialize the accumulator is there. You have to initialize the accumulator is there. Then you have to add move. 0 1 into the R1 is there. Okay. You have to add first 10 natural numbers means 0 to 10 means 1 to 9 is there. Okay. 1 to 9 number is there. You have to add. So here you have to first number one is transferred to the R1 is there. First number one is transferred to the R1 is there. Then 9 is the 9. What is the 9? 9 is the count from 0 to 9. You have to add the number is there. Then add a comma R1. R1 is contain a value is 1 is there. And then Accumulator is contain value zero is there. So R1 is one and accumulator is zero. So accumulator contain value after that is zero zero H. After that, accumulator is contain a value is the zero zero plus one. So accumulator the value is one is there. After that, you have increment the R1. You have to increment the R1 means you will get the value of the R1 is one is there. You have to increment the R1 means you will get the value of the R1 is the one plus one means two values there. Then you have to decrement the value into the R2 is there and go to the jump is there. So decrement the value R2 means R2 becomes a eight is there. And this is not a zero. So it will go to the jump is there here jump. So R1 is contain value two. Accumulator is contain value one. Two plus one is becomes a three is there. Two plus one, it becomes a three is there. Then increment the R1. So R1 will be again two plus one means it will becomes a three there. R1 becomes a three there again, R2 becomes at this stage R2 is eight is there. So 
the uh, decrement r2 means r2 becomes a 7 is there 8 becomes a 7 is there 7 is not a zero so it will go to the jump is there so it will go to the jump is there after jump what will happen add a comma uh, a comma r1 r a contain a three value r1 r1 is contain again a three value there three plus three is the six is there so same way you have to add the plus nine num first ten numbers are there after that when nine becomes a zero it decrement means decrement means r2 becomes a zero and due to that zero this condition will be false so cursor will not go to the jump is there the value present in the accumulator is transferred to the r6 is there the value present in the accumulator is transferred to the r6 is there value present in the accumulator is transferred to the r6 is there which is the value you have to add this value maybe 55 is the value i think so this value is transferred to the register r6 is there okay the same program you have to add first five numbers are there so you have to here here we have to use the counter is the here we have to use counter is the nine is there for first 10 numbers uh, natural number addition is there here we have to use the five natural numbers there are five numbers we have to use for the first five numbers natural numbers addition is there so here is counter we have to use the four is there here counter we have to use the four is there and there we have to use the counter is the nine is there we have to use the counter is the nine is there here we have to use the counter is nine for first 10 numbers we have to use the counter is four for first five numbers the same program is there nothing will be changed see the program first you have to transfer the accumulator with the zero zero h then first number you have to transfer r1 comma zero one h is there then you have to move the counter r2 into zero 4h is there okay then you have to add accumulator with r1 is there then increment the r1 decrement the jump decrement jump if not zero jo parent r2 madhe zero yet nahi to parent kay karayche jump karayche kuthe jayche aplya add a comma r1 la so you have to check the value of the r2 every time it will go to the jump is there and then you will go to the end is there then after that your addition will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus Five is there. The answer, which is calculated by this program, is stored into the accumulator, and this accumulator is transfer where you want to transfer it location or maybe in your register is there. Okay, so this is the addition of first five natural numbers are there. It is the addition of first five natural numbers are there. See, this is the next program. Write a program to insert a value into a stack and delete a value from a stack. Is there? See, write a program to insert a value into a stack and delete a value from the stack is there okay so see the program is there move r1 is 01h r2 is 02h r3 is 03h is there so you have to move the all three numbers you have to move all three numbers into the all three numbers into the registers are there then you know that if you transfer the data into the stack pointer you have to use the push r1 is there push r2 is there push r3 is there okay after that you have to take a value from your stack pointer what we have to do take last value first so last in first out is the lifo is the logic of your stack is there so pop r3 r3 is contain value 03h r3 is contain a value of 03h then R2 is contain value zero two and then R1 is so first you have to pop R3 then pop R2 and then pop R1. Such a program is asked in the examination. Na? It's very easy program, but student don't understand is it? So write a program to insert a value into the stack and delete a value or you can take a value. You can say delete or you can take a value from your stack is there. Means insert value for insert we have to use the push. Command is there, and you have to delete. Means you have to take a value from your stack. We have to use the pop is there. 
for that purpose we have to use the pop is there okay understand so you have to insert a value we have to use the push and you have to take a value from the stack we have to use the pop is there okay so push r1 push r2 push r3 is there and pop r3 pop r2 and prop r1 is there so this is the program is related to your stack pointer is there okay so next program is write a program to generate a square wave of 50% duty cycle on bit of the port one is there so such a program we have used by using timer or by using a delay is there so what is the what is the our square wave is there square wave is what c square wave is what this is a high then it will be go to the low this is the high it will go to the low is there this is the program of the square wave. when you draw the square you can draw like this you can draw like this of the square wave is there okay but practically this is not the square wave square wave is like a only a this is a positive this is the negative means lower value then again it is the positive and this is the a negative is there okay so what is the logic is there what is logic we have to use such a wave you have to generate so what is logic when you put a value one when you put a value one anywhere when you put a value anywhere it is one then it will be continue for a some time it will be continue for some time means you give a delay to your 8051 that you have to put a value one for some time is there means some, some delay we have when you give to the 8051 means stop the stop that and then you have to go to the delay then one will be go to the slowly increasing there so up to the delay means delay given up to this time it will give the output is only a one is there because we are giving the delays there after that for the zero again we have to give uh, some delay then zero will be continue after the some time delay means what delay means what you, you have to put a previous state or current state is not previous the current state is as it is of the 8051 you have to delay means with up to this time one second two second three second is the delay is given up to that delay time your 8051 must wait for means current position must be stable is there current position will be stable is there or we can say that current position is present at that delay time is there at that delay time current position of the 8051 will be stable same is there so when you giving the uh one is there then it is the stable for the one is there when you are given zero to there then zero one is there then you have to one is there this so same program we have to done here is there so origin set port 1.1 is there you have to set a port 1.1 is there at the time of the uh, software you can i will show how this one will become is there in your port port is given one is there one zero one zero is there Square wave means what? One zero one zero. What is the square of Z one zero one zero one zero? This is the square wave is there. So set port one point one means what? You have to set the port one point one means what? You know that how many ports are ports containing a eight bit port is there? Port is eight bit port is there? In that eight bit port, you have to set a one port one pin of that port one is there. You have to set one pin of that port one is there. Means what? You have to put a port one point one pin is the one is there port one point one pin is the one is there so you will get a start from this I mean, suppose i am drawing here here is the starting is there okay so you have to set port minus you have to connect the port one to the cr yeah. then you can see the one is there after that a call delay is there a call delay is there there are different delays there when you are working with the timers and counters programming unit number four we are discussing the program delay briefly so here we have to convert a delay up to the FFH. You have to convert delays up to the FFH is there. FFH means what? 15, 50, uh, delay means you have to give the loops is there. Delay means what you have to give the loop is there in between loop your program, your uh, controller will be go and then the stable state will be continue of the edge of So it will be give, give the delays FFH is there. Give the delays FFH is there. And you have to hear me decrement the R1 here. Decrement the R1 is the here is there. So decrement the R1 is the here. Okay. After that, then delay will be completed. When delay will be completed, what will happen? See a, a call delay. A call delay means the next inst next instruction of this will be stored into the stack. When you give the delay is there after completion of delay, our program will be go to the next instruction of this 
कॉल डिले आफ्टर दैट कॉल डिले वॉट इज क्लियर पोर्ट वन पॉइंट वन टू यू हेव टू सेट द पोर्ट वन पॉइंट वन मीन यू हेव टू सेट द वन इज देर सेट वन इज देर देन गिव द डिले डिले मीन्स दन विल बी कंटिन्यू फॉर द समाइम वन विल बी कंटिन्यू फॉर द समाइम इज देर one will be continue for the some time is there okay after after some time after some time what will happen when delay will be completed cursor will be go to the next line okay what is the next line this is the next line is there here i am giving the clear port 1.1 clear port 1.1 means after this what is given after that your clear 1.1 is there so it will be go to the 00 is there it will be go to the 00 is there then zero cursor will be moved to the this point cursor will move to the this point and then a call delay the a call delay means what again delay will be call and then whole process will be done maybe one second maybe two second is there after that what will happen this delay will be completed then then s jump up is there then s jump up is there up means what you will be cursor will be go to the here up means what your cursor will be go to the here is there again what will happen set the port point 1 then your cursor again come here after that call delay it will be up to the one is there after that what will happen delay will be completed then clear port p point p 1.1 then cursor will be go to the here is there and then continue after this positive and negative this process will be continue again and again the it is come into the same loop is there. it is not come out of the loop is there this is not come out of this loop is there this process will be continue this process will be continuous there okay this process will be continue okay so this is the program for the delay or you can say the square way of this and we will discuss this program at the time of the practical session also how to convert the 50% delays there okay so just discuss this one program then we will stop see see what is the program is there here program is you have to find the largest number your program is you have to find the largest number is there so what is the largest number is there in between first 10 numbers are there these numbers are stored at the location is 2000h 2000h is the location at that location 10 numbers are stored and among these 10 numbers you have to find out the largest number of between these two largest number of between these two are there so just go one by one is there so first you have to give the dptr is 2000h means what what is the meaning of that this is the 2000h this is the location just we will go to the in your ppt then it's very easy to see ठीक है सी दिस द टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड एच इज देर टू थाउजेंड एच इज द लोकेशन हियर इज द नंबर देर जस्ट आई एम राइटिंग द नंबर जीरो फाइव जीरो सिक्स जीरो एट जीरो नाइन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेल्व आई एम राइटिंग सिक्स आफ्टर थ्री नंबर यू विल डिस्कस दिस देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड सेवन इज देर ओके सेवन देन okay after this is are the numbers are there which is stored at the location 2000 which is there this is the 10 is the counter r0 is the 10 means r0 is the counter 
R0 is 10 numbers for the taking the numbers or the counters are there. Okay. R3 is the maximum number. So I'm doing, I'm discussing this point is there. When you have to find out the largest number, you have to put a minimum value, means the lowest number in your where you have to compare with the number. So lowest number you have to store is the zero zero. Because the number lowest number is zero zero, you have to compare the zero zero, then you will get the largest number is there. So R3 is contain a value zero zero is there. R3 is contain value 0, 0, H is there. Okay. See the logic is there. See the logic is there. Move A comma DPTR. At the rate DPTR means what? The location is 2000 days. At that location, there is a 0, 05 number is there. At that location, there is a 0, 05 number is there. Okay. So you have to put a number into the accumulator. See after this. After this, what is the A is contain a value is 0, 05. A is contain value of 0, 05. Zero. Okay. What is the program there? Compare jump if not equal to 0. J N E R3 N is there. Okay. What is the meaning of that? You have to compare the value present in accumulator and you have to compare the value present in the R3 is there. You have to compare the value of present into the accumulator is there and you have to compare the value of the R3 is there. R3 is contain a 0, 0 is there. R3 is contain a value is 0, 0 is there. Okay. And accumulator is contain a value is the 0, 05. Accumulator is contain a value is the 0, 05. So compare means if your accumulator value is less, if your accumulator value is less, then carry will be generated. Understood. Compare means what? You have to subtract value of the R3 from the accumulator is that means accumulator is contained 5, 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0 means what is the meaning of that 5 minus 0 means R3 contain a 0 value and accumulator contains 5 value then which is the bigger value the value 5 is the bigger value so there is no carry will be generated see when you 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 means what bigger number is 0 sorry 5 and small number is so you will answer is 5 there is no carry will be generated there so here is the program if jump if carry carry generated no there is no carry generated there if carry generated then go to the skip skip means what there is no transfer the value from accumulator to the r3 but here carry is not generated so the value of accumulator is transferred to the r3 is there so after this what will happen r3 will be go to the 3 is there r3 will be go to the 3 is there accumulator is contain value of 5 no matter Okay, so here is the you have to convert this accumulator into the R3. So R3 is contain a 0, 3, 0, sorry, R3 is contain a 0, 5 is there, and accumulator is contain a 0, 5. After that, increment the DPTR. After that, because no skip is there, so some instruction will directly move from D. Increment the DPTR. So increment DPTR means next value it is collected, which is the 0, 8. Means where is 2000 is contain 0, 5. 2001 is contained the 0 it is there so when increment the dptr your value will be 0 it is there and then decrement the r0 r0 means what you have to complete after this this 9 will be when 0 10 will be 0 9 is there so no value of 0 after that 0 8 will be comes to the where it will come to the accumulator is there again again means what what will happen it is goes to here is there after that move add the rate dptr into the accumulator so accumulator is get a value is 0 8 accumulator is get value is 0 it is there okay so after 0 8 what will happen here uh, here 0 8 is accumulated then compare the again accumulator and r3 again compare r3 and accumulator is there here again accumulator is contain more value r3 is contain less value so carry will not be generated so that it will go to the next step is there accumulator goes to the r3 so r3 becomes 8 is there R3 becomes 8 is there and accumulator is also 8 is there. No problem is there. Then increment the DPTR. The next number, which is the 07 increment the DPTR, decrement the R0. It will be go to the 0. It is there. It will be go to the 0. It is there. Then what will happen? This 07 is goes to the accumulator is there. This 07 is goes to the accumulator is there. So accumulator is contain a value 07. Accumulator is contain a value. 0, 7, see what will happen after that when compare these two numbers what will happen compare this number what will happen your accumulator is having less value and your r3 is having the more value 
so here borrow will be generated means seven minus eight what will happen your answer is if i am writing like this seven minus eight what is the answer is there you will get answer is minus one seven minus eight your answer is the minus one means borrow will be generated when borrow will be generated what will happen if a jump skip or you can say as a if jump carry if it is suppose generate another go to the skip and if you have to jump carry here carry will be generated so that there is no if there is equal this is equal then skip is there if it is equal then increment if it is here is, this jump is required for the equal of the these two numbers are there means your zero will be created means if two numbers means seven and accumulate an r3 is contain the same number then we will go to the a jump skip is there we will discuss this one then here what will happen carry will be generated means borrow will be generated then he it is not transfer accumulated to the R3. So R3 is contain the bigger number, which is the eight. It is not transfer seven to the R3 is there because accumulator is contain a less number, less value of the number than the R3 is there. Due to that, the carry will be generated. And due to that carry, you have to jump carry, you have to skip this. So you have to skip this line. So you are not transfer the accumulator to the R3 is there. Then it will go to the increment the dptr then again you have to take the value of 12 into the accumulator again the value of 12 into the accumulator is there okay so as it is bigger number 8 is as it is into the r3 then 12 is the bigger number then again not borrow generated then accumulator will transfer to the r3 same thing you have to given and you will get the bigger number is there jump carry means what when accumulator value is less than the value of the r3 if accumulator value is less than the value of the r3 then carry will be generated then carry will be generated and if carry is generated then you have to transfer this value you have to cannot move the value from accumulator to the r3 because r3 is contain a bigger value than the accumulator so r3 is contain the bigger value than the accumulator so it will be not be transfer is there from accumulator to the r3 is there okay so this is the program and what is the use of this a jump is there see a jump is what if two numbers are equal means if these two numbers are equal then go to the skip and you have to increment this if two numbers are equal then go to the skip and you have to not go to the do not compare the carry is there and you do not compare the uh, skip is there you directly go to the skip is there increment dptr and the next step will be generated there for that purpose you have to use the a jump skip is there okay so these are the this is the program we will discuss at the time of your practical session also when software will be run then i will show this next lecture maybe so if understood the program logic understood the program logic everyone see if you don't have the computers you don't have any software is there then we how to write the program is this way you have to understand the program take a pen and paper and then you have to write the program write the registers number registers r0 r3 and every step what is the changes are can what are the changes is done what are the changes are made in the registers are there dpt are there if you understand these things then you can go to the software is there because for developing the program there is no need of the software is there first you have to develop your logic on your paper is there take a paper paper and pen and then see what happen when one by one is there so just I'm two minutes I'm giving. I'm always saying that to develop a logic, there is no required a PC or a software is there. It's your only pen and paper is there and you can use the logic. Just I'm giving, just I'm, my logic is I'm giving, develop your own logic is there. So first when learn the program, just write down the first register we have to use DPTR. Then you have to write down the R0. Then you have to write down the R3. Then you have to write down the which are the DPTR R3 and activity there. Only you have to write down the, these four registers there. And step first step, what will happen? What is the present in the DPTR? So DPTR is contained the 2000 H. After that, R0, R0 is contained a 0 A is there. Say. 0 A is means not 0 for your decimal, 10 is there. Then R3, R3 is contained the 0, 0 is there. Then accumulator is contained the value. What is the accumulator value? It's contained at the rate DPTR. Suppose 2000 is contained a first location value 0, 5 is there. So when first loop will be con con first loop will be completed, then these are the 
values present in your register is there after second loop what will happen what are the values are present in that then you can understand this way then you can logic will be develop is there you can logic will be develop is there just like in debug uh, f11 or step by step execution is there you can see in the software but better way to take a pen and paper and develop your logic because it's then and then your logic will be develop is there then you can understand the instructions are there then you can understand the how processor controller will be react when you give the any instruction is there then you can understand that then your logic will be develop is there so this is the way to develop logic any language you can learn any language c programming or maybe dot net vb first you have to take a pen and paper draw this and then you can understand the logic what will happen then your uh, program will be easy is there then you can understand the where is the uh, problem is there which instruction is wrong which instruction then you can understand what are the limitations of previous language and what are the advantages of the next language they are develop is there then what are the problems when you're writing the c in your 808 files there we require the two lines or four lines to same line in one line in next generation is there if you require a run the program for the three lines in next language uh, uh, languages only one line is required to run the program is there then you can understand what are the limitations what are the drawbacks of all these things are there okay so so first you have to take a pen and paper and then de develop your logic is there okay so if you have any difficulty tell me just i'm taking the attendance and then i will stop Okay, one number we added. Who is that number?